Hi everybody, it's Scott Hansen from the riffle.blogspot.com. I'm here to do another fly focus tying tutorial today. Uh, the fly I'm going to tie is a crane fly. This is a size 16 crane fly. Uh, there are lots of crane flies in uh, local trout streams up here in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Some people uh, have a hard time recognizing them. They uh, come out at the same time as sulfur mayflies a lot of the time. So uh, they're not as well known, but this is a great imitation. I'm going to start with a uh, size 16 standard dry fly hook. This is a Daiichi 1100. And I'm starting with some ADOT unithread here. I'm just going to start that right about in the midpoint. And the first thing I'm going to put on is some... Um, a uh, very fine diameter ultra chenille. This is kind of a dark yellow color. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to pinch the fibers off of one end of my length of chenille to, to expose the string there in the middle. And I'm going to tie it in by that. That way there's not any bulk on the hook shank or very much bulk. And I'm going to tie my thread off here with a whip finish and trim that. I do that because uh, of the next step, I'm going to trim my chenille shorter, so it's about the length of the hook shank there. And I'm going to turn my vise upside down, and I've got my handy dandy lighter here that I'm going to use to melt the end of the chenille. And um, I found that when I leave the thread on the hook, I have a tendency to burn the thread uh, right off and then I have to start my thread over anyhow, so I thought I'll just uh, tie it off myself and and uh, Do that a little better. So I want a nice little sins there on the end of my chenille as you can see uh, Tapers the uh, fibers a little bit better Makes it look nice and I'm starting my thread back right in front of that chenille Next thing I'm going to put on is some um, amber colored Hairline. This is just uh, a regular old rabbit fur that's been dyed amber. It kind of matches the color of the chenille and the color of the crane flies. And I want a nice fat little rope of fur there. So uh, I'm just going to wrap that forward here towards the eye of the hook, covering up my thread wraps. And it looks nice and buggy. It's like some legs coming out. And all that I have left to put on this fly is some um, hackle. So I have some gray uh, whiting hen hackle here. I want it to be a little bit bigger than the hook shank. So uh, this is about a, would be perfect for a size 12 hook. Tie that in right in front of the dubbing body that I have on there already. Trim off the hackle stem. And I'm going to wrap this right in front of that dubbing body three or four wraps uh, one wrap right in front of the last wrap nice long fibers on this feather make it look like the gangly legs that crane flies have and get one more wrap on here or so and I'll tie that off three or four wraps of thread. The whiting hen feathers are super long so I should have enough feather here to, for my next fly. Let's see, yep, there's plenty for the next fly. I'll stroke these uh, hackle fibers backwards a little bit here and make a nice thread head over those wraps. I got one loosey-goosey there in front I'm going to trim out. There we go. Get that out of there. And I'll take my whip finisher here and finish off this fly. Trim my thread and my crane fly is all done. Uh, this is a great fly for uh, June evenings when it's nice and warm out. The crane flies are out. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you next time.